this is part two of my makeup collection. Unplanned actually, but uh, there's so much of it to show you that I just decided that I should split this video into two so that it's not like forever and ever and ever. Yes, so this is my vanity table. This is where I edit as well. You can call it whatever you want, makeup organization, video, anything. But this is uh, part two and it's going to feature the foundations, concealers, primers, BB creams, highlighters, all of that stuff that I have. And I have way too much. I would like to repeat it after every shot actually. So if you're ready, let's go. Hi, this is Aparna Ganesh welcoming you into this video of Joy Geeks where I explore beauty inside out creating beauty and wellness content so this is my makeup edit vanity desk whatever you may call it by the side of my bedroom and I quite like it because it's very simple and very easy to use lots of storage and organized storage there was part one I hope you saw it this is part two let's keep going this is a drawer of bronzers and concealers, foundation, BB creams. There are some primers in there. Everything's in here. All my bronzers are here. I'll start with concealers. So there are some more concealers inside. So I have Tarte, Tarte. This is my favorite. I've been showing you a lot these days. Pack, Maybelline, cult favorite. I have this one from MAC. This is a very wrong shade for me. I should can use it as a bronzer. Faces, NYX, Faces, Fenty Beauty. I have all this. I'm going to go quickly now because I think I'm taking too much time to show you guys everything. So this is from Nykaa. This is a set from MAC. Lovely stuff. This is These are some uh, testers I've got from MAC and from Estee Lauder. Which honestly I have not even still used. This is Honey Bronze and I have one more from Estee Lauder. Yeah, two from MAC and two from ST Lauder. Not yet tried. This is a palette from NYX. Honestly, I, I haven't tried it yet, so I kept it here. Okay, let me move on to some bronzers. Turn it around so you guys can see it. Okay, this is a box that my children had got for some reason, which they didn't use later, so of course I flipped it off them. This is a Bobbi Brown foundation, actually. I put it here. Just because it's a slightly darker shade, sometimes I can use it for bronzer, but uh, no, it's not that dark enough. This is Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer, cult favorite. This is one of my favorite faces. This is from Milani. I just love this package. Yummy! It's got a lot of glitter and shimmer and all, and I haven't, you know, used this too much to showcase it to you guys. So this is another big bronzer. This is from Fenty in the shade Caramel Cutie in case anybody wanted to know. This is nice. It's a little it's a little dark but I like it. You can use it. This is the most favorite actually. Give Me Sun from MAC. It's a cult favorite. I hunted, hunted, hunted across so many MAC stores to get a hang of this. This is another beautiful Bronze booster from Physicians Formula. You don't get it here. From Sephora. This is a bronzer from Kiko. And of course, one from Hula. Okay, let me just turn this around so I don't go crazy. Okay, let me take it out. Okay, this is again uh, something uh, uh, that belongs to my children actually. And I'm using it for all my beautiful BB creams. This, these are lovely BB creams that I have here. This is from Kiko. Kiko, Kiko, LA Girl, It Cosmetics. I have featured this somewhere in my videos. Uh, this I think I should throw because it's a little old. So I'll keep it out. There's another BB cream from LA Girl. This is a primer actually. Uh, it's just here by mistake. This is Lotus's uh, Glow. I can't remember. I think it's slightly bright for me. And this is Lakme Absolute. I love this packaging so I got it. But I am not able to crack my shade in it. And these are some Charlotte Tilbury foundation. But I haven't used it. I just kept it. Because yeah I should use it. 
Okay, I'll take this out also. Now, let me go through my foundation. Okay, let me go through my foundation stack quickly. This is Sugar, Maybelline Superstay, Faces. This is the Mousse Foundation, Fenty Beauty. Faces go chic, very good. I like that. Infallible, Infallible, Lacme Weightless, Faces HD. Um, NYX Revolution mm, I, I want to try a lighter shade right now this is looking too dark for me this is Maybelline Nika Sin Shield and I have two shades of this because I need to kind of mix these two to arrive at a good shade Pro Matte I like this foundation it has a fabulous finish actually Milani again I don't feel that this is a fabulous foundation but I don't feel that I've got my exact shade Wet n Wild foundation L'Oreal fresh wear very nice one uh, LA girl pro coverage uh, two shades one is sand this is sand which is too uh, dark and this is soft honey makeup forever HD very nice foundation, very sheer, very light. This of course, faces very quick and easy to use. And this is from Colourpop. This is from Pack. Okay. Primers. Oh, Milani Prime Shield. I haven't used this too much. Uh, LA Girl Prep and Pride. This is Ancient Veil from NYX. My house help at that point cleaned it out completely. This is Nika Prep Me Up. Nike Nix Pore Filler. Lotus Eco Stay. This is very nice. I have shared it often. Uh, Nix Total. This is okay. I have used it, but uh, it's okay. You can miss. Honey Jumi Up. This is nice. Smashboxes Primer. This is L'Oreal Magique. Works well, all of these work well, pretty well. So, yeah, I end up featuring few again and again. This is Sephora's primer, such a cute bottle. I love this bottle. Actually, I finished this. This is one product I have finished because earlier I had only that, so I used to use a lot of that. Okay, these are all the primers, and there are some more of uh, concealers here which. Uh, they don't really work well. I can't show you everything. This is the wonder stick that I really like. If you want to get a contour stick, this is really nice. I haven't used this highlighter side too much. You can see it's it looks like brand new. I've hardly used that side. But I've got these from uh, LA Girl Orange. I don't use these now. So I've just kept this in the back. This in place so that I can access it when I sit on my band so this is how it is so I've used a mug here you can see it's all assorted it's not like I've not like gone and bought specifically this of course I bought the rest of them is all whatever I found around me. on this side the last drawer is my highlighter drawer but what do you see first <laughs> I use this often when I use liquid lipstick or uh, when I put a fixing spray on me this is a beautiful hairbrush from iconic the only product I use the only hair brush I use very nice okay this is a very very old box actually from where but I will show you how beautiful this looks doesn't this look like yummy <laughs> I'll show you some of the this is from NYX this is from L'Oreal the highlighters this is a beautiful highlighter from Faces again. <coughs> Let me swatch this way. I like stuff when it's natural. Actually, my hand has become dusty after doing all of this, so I'm going to use the back of my hand to blend it and show you. These are some absolutely gorgeous highlighters from highlighters from Wet and Wild. Some this has not even been opened. Why? This is not even opened because I've not even used all of these. So sometimes I just keep it because unless I really want to do a video, maybe I can give them away. Because I have too many. This is a cute little strobe 
cream of MAC. This is Nykaa's Strobe and Glow. Uh, it's nice to mix with foundation by itself, I'm not sure. This is Strobe Cream from uh, PAC. This is a bronze, uh, what do you say, cream bronze from NYX. These are some of the other products, NYX. A wavy glow, beautiful Mary Luminizer in liquid form. This is another one from Ellie Girl Luminous. These are all the liquid ones. Basically, this box has all liquid ones. I like to organize them in a way that I can get to see it fast. This is another yo yo. This packaging is a little garbage, so I don't end up using it too much. Okay, let it be for now. Yeah. What is this? This is a little strobe cream she gave me for some reason in the store. And this is another one from Colourpop. This is in the shade Wisp. They're all nice. I like this little box. Now this again, see, is a recycled box. It was a box that came to me like this. And I just decided to use this because it serves me well. I don't need to always go and get those acrylic uh, boxes. Starting from here of Wet n Wild. This is Wet n Wild. Actually, it's a blush, but it's very highlighty, so I've kept it here. These are all Wet n Wild blushes. They're all from Wet n Wild. These are from Nykaa. Two more from Faces. It's very nice ones from Faces. Mac. Oh God, I have not used this. See, it is not open. Yeah, I don't think I have used it much at all. This is that pearl glow from uh, Physicians Formula. Such a cute looking one. This is K Plays Rose Highlighter. This is also nice actually. I like this also. I like natural looking stuff. So I end up wearing those more often. Very nice one from Soap and Glory. Very, very nice. If you go somewhere where you have, you know, you can see this, you can pick this up. You know, I'm very disappointed that this rubber is starting to melt. Very, very disappointing after buying such an expensive product. This is Becca's uh, highlighter. Oof, it's all starting to melt. This is Champagne Pop, Jaclyn Hills Champagne Pop. Of course, the product is intact, but from outside, it's very chip chip. Can you see? It's all come off. It's very. Aye, aye. So, I don't know. I'll keep it outside and see what I have to do with it now. Okay, let me move on. These are these beautiful ones huh, from LA Girl. You should try them out. This is like 50 watt. I have 20 watt, I have 30 watt, they're different, this is pink toned, this is brown toned, they're different. Now these are beautiful, I don't know if you've seen them, I don't know if it's even available here. It's an illuminating powder from LA Girl and you get it in this form. Ooh, it's so nice. How do I show this to you? Okay, let me take a little. It is so finely milled. It's so nice. It's so nice. Very nice. I have that in two shades actually. Yeah. I have it in this shade also. This is white iridescent. Whoosh. <laughs> uh, okay, let me put this here. It's a pity I have all this makeup and I don't use so much of this. Master Chrome. If you want something at some time, sometime and I want it to look bold, I can use this. This is from Pack. Now this is very nice. I really like this. It's very mm, natural looking yet very nice. Should I be telling you shade numbers and stuff? 03 Sweet Talk. It's going to take forever if I tell you all details of uh, everything. This is Flower Beauty Pack. Very strong this one. I haven't used it too much. I just tested it. It's here because um, it's got all this. It's a, it's got a lot of shimmer, so I would be probably using it as a highlight. Dun -dun -dun. Again, K okay, Beauty. Why has this become rusted? It's very sad when the thing when you buy is different, and then after some time, it's it's looking. Can you see all these rings? That shouldn't have happened. Anyway, this is the highlighter. Beautiful. Very nice. It's very natural this one. Soap and Glory. Such a nice 
packaging. This is another one that uh, pearl beads. Very nice. Not available here, I think. Yeah, I think I showed some of these. Things. Okay, so this is done. This is some of the jelly highlighters from LA Girl, which I have not used too much. See, it's like a jelly. When I really get into like full on makeup on the face, maybe I will use these. Most often, what happens is that I'm curious about the product and I end up getting it. And if I'm not 100% sure, I don't do a video on it. I do a video only of uh, products that I like really love. This is a nice palette, Born to Glow. So with that, I think I have finished my highlighter draw. I'm just place it back. Whoa. So here, so here, my brush here, this can go here. I showed on the right side earlier. Now I'm moving from bottom to up on the left side. Okay, let's begin. Now this on the bottom is some of the wipes that I've kept here. I have this Jaclyn Hill her controversial eye palette which I'm not able to use too much for obvious reasons. This is a beautiful body uh, moisturizer. This is nice. This is again Jaclyn Hill and Morphe's blush, uh, brush set but of course I have different brushes in it. And this is again See, this is just a cardboard box actually. I have put all my sprays in it like this because I thought this is better to use like this. This is Aroma Magic Skin Toner, Morphe Face Setting Spray. Maybe I'll keep this here. Pack. There is Pack. There is Plum, which I love. This is Urban. This is everybody knows Mac Prep and Prime. This is from Urban Decay, very nice all nighter. This actually works and I went in for a small one because I know I don't really apply it so often. Smashbox, nice one. This is cherry flavored in Urban Decay. This is wet and wild natural finish. I haven't used too much of this on screen. Uh, next dewy finish, I like this. LA Girl Pro setting. Next matte finish. This is nice as well. And this is a killer of a product. Uh, this is uh, Urban Decay Rebound. Especially if you have dry skin, you would totally love this. Because, uh, I don't know, it just plumps up your skin too much. And if you, even if you're, you know, like slightly on the older side. I don't mean to say you're old, but I mean to say, you know, like plus 30, plus 40, like I'm 40. It, I think it works very well for my skin. This is Calabar Rose Water. I like this as well. Did I show this? Plum. Very nice. I like all of these. So, these are all the face sprays I have here. And I have kept this here. So, if anybody wants to know about these drawers I have, this is uh, Alex from IKEA. You get these. So, what is special is that you see the first two drawers are a little shallow and then you have broader ones. It really works well. And they have detailed instructions of how you can fix this. I mean, you can get urban clap and people to also come and do this but between my daughter and me my younger one and me we made all this entire unit we made it by ourselves aren't we cool so what else do i have here this is another itar i had got from dubai uh, i don't like the way it looks from the outside i don't like this chunky gold but the inside is a beautiful sandalwood uh, fragrance which is nice this is a, a very nice product from pack it's a brush cleanser to be used on the go very nice and yeah i guess that's all i have here so i'll put this back i've kept this with me because in case you know tomorrow if something gets loosened up or i need to change something i'll know exactly what steps i need to do shall i move to the next draw this has let's so this is going to move on to part three which is going to feature all the fixing sprays my mascaras, all the eyeshadow palettes I have, the eyeliners, the brushes, the lip pencils, all of that yummy stuff is in part 3. Hop over there and I will see you in part 3. Of course, if you like this video, please do hit on the like button and consider subscribing. If you don't like the video, feel free to hit the dislike as well. I always am open to constructive crit criticism and this video actually has been made purely based on your uh, requests 
So I'm happy I've made it. See you in part three. Bye.